Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we will talk about static mesh collisions, how to add collision, remove collision, create different type of collision and some fundamentals for optimizing your static meshes. So let's get started. I have this static mesh door over here. So to locate this file, right click and browse to asset. And we can double click to open it up. Now I am in the static mesh editor. So this editor is different than blueprint editor. Now let's first play the game. So I'm going to this door and I'm bumping into it. Okay. So let's go back to the static mesh editor. And we are bumping into this door because this door has collision. Now let's see what is that exactly. If you go here to show and simple collision, we have all these lines. So this means our player hits these lines, not the actual door. Now let's scroll all the way down here. And in the collision complexity, click this drop down and project default. Now when I enter the game, I'm going to go to this door because this door doesn't have any collision. So back to the editor. If you click here on the show, and with this simple collision selected, we can to toggle on and off. So we can't see anything because this static mesh doesn't have any collision. Now if you go to this collision here, we can select add box simplified collision. So when you click it, now we have collision for this static mesh. You can select this collision, these green lines, and you can pull it aside if you want. So when the character or something else wants to bump into this static mesh, it's actually bumping into these green lines, not into this door exactly. So if I save it, let's go play the game. Now I'm going to press F8 to detach myself from the character. And when I press Alt and C, you can see all the collision in the level. So we have the capsule of the player, we have the skeletal and we have this door and this is the collision here. Now if I press this joystick here to get back to the game, I will go through this door, but when I come here, I'm bumping into this collision, which is invisible. So that's why when you're bumping into something, you're bumping into that green lines in the collision. Now let's go back to the door static mesh. We can scroll and find primitives. So this is primitives, let me just show you exactly. So we have here boxes, so this is the collision applied. So when you click this drop down, index, and now when you select this collision, how you're moving, it's updating here. You can go up, forward, backward. So to put this back on its default position, click on this arrow. And now we can drag it a bit up to be exactly like this, and now click save. So this is how you are adding and removing collision. Now let's delete this collision by selecting it and press delete on your keyboard. And now we don't have any collision whatsoever. So if I go through this door, there is no collision applied. Now let's go back to the editor again. If you click on this collision and let's add one of these here, let's say, X simplified collision. We have this more complex collision than the previous one. So when you drag it on the side, we have more lines. Okay, so as much as you're adding, the more heavier it's going to be on the performance. So make sure to go easy on this. Don't go too complicated. You can also add multiple of them. So this, let me just delete this for now. So I can do box. So you see we have more collision into one we can go here okay now let's remove the all the collision of this actor now click show and let's toggle this complex collision so this is going to be the complex collision now if you play the game we don't have any collision so let's go back to the editor you can scroll all the way down where it says project default collision complexity Click it, 
and use complex collision as simple. Now you see this color changed a bit. Now if you go back to the project default, you see it's changing the color. That means that we are applying the collision. Now let's try it out. Now we are bumping into the actor. Now you have to be mindful with this. So don't use it for a very complicated mesh, like a big, huge rock or something. Try to use it as simple as possible. So go to project default. And you can add box simplified collision. And you can toggle off this complex collision. So this is how your collision is going to be handled in your game. Simple collision and that's going to be enough. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.